Okay, well, good morning. Buenos dias, everybody. It's Professor Cañedo, and I'm reporting to you from uh, my backyard, actually. Last time on uh, over the weekend, I was uh, at uh, uh, at Grossmont College, uh, but I think for the next uh, few videos, I doubt if I'll be doing any uh, uh, any uh, regular traveling f uh, for a, for, a, for a few days. So uh, uh, all the subsequent videos will, for the will, uh, for all intents and purposes, be right here in my uh, either in uh, my backyard, my home here in Winchester, or uh, inside the uh, inside the house itself. Uh, right now, it's a pretty nice morning, but it's going to get pretty hot as the day progresses. Uh, expecting highs probably in the low to maybe the 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 Oh, the mid nineties, which uh, is definitely average for this time of year. Well, uh, for this video, which of course is exclusively for you guys in the uh, uh, Chicano Studies uh, One Forty One A class, I'm just going to give you an overview of a lot of the major features uh, uh, about the class uh, in the video that I gave you over the weekend on uh, for for Monday. That was just an introduction to uh, to myself, uh, my background, my interests, things of that nature. Uh, but for now, we'll focus mostly on the class uh, it, itself. And before I get to that, let me just quickly mention a couple of other uh, things that I maybe I forgot to mention in the video from uh, from Monday uh, with respect to other things regarding uh, uh, outside interests. Of course, uh, you saw how I was a big fan of uh things pertaining to uh, uh to Detroit sports like the Tigers and the uh, and, and and the Red Wings to a lesser extent, the the Lions, but let's see how they do with this this year. They seem to be kind of a Jekyll and Hyde team, and they had a really good season two years ago. But they just uh, uh, went back to their old, old ways last season. Let's see how they do with this this year. Uh, but as for other interests too, uh, you can probably tell that I uh, I'm a fan of the uh, classic uh, rock, rock and roll. So uh, bands from the 1970s and 1980s into a little bit of the early 90s. Those are the bands that I really in enjoy the most. So whether it's a uh, Rush, uh, Motley Crue, uh, Iron Maiden, uh, Steely Dan. Uh, uh, all, all, the Eagles, all, all, all of that stuff, those are the things that I listen to on a very, very regular basis, whether it's uh, from uh, Spotify or, or from uh, Sirius uh, 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 XM or just watching uh, clips and uh, videos on, on, on YouTube. And as for other other interests too, um, with respect to uh, uh, pets and things of, of that nature, um, I have I have cats here at, at uh, cats here at, at, at the at the house. In fact, uh, two of my cats are kind of running around right now. So if one comes uh, comes by, I might bring bring him or her up. I've got two Persians, one person who's outside, another person that's inside, and a white cat named uh, named named Nick. And uh, he's kind of rambunctious, so so don't be surprised if Nick makes an appearance within the next uh, next ten minutes. And there's a dog too. There's a there's a cock. Spaniel named uh, Churro after the uh, after the the the, after the, the the dessert bread you get at the uh, county fair or uh, or Disneyland or, or any place uh, uh, like like that. Okay, let me quickly go ahead and tell you a little bit more about what's going on with with the class. I'll tell you about a lot of the key features uh, about the expectations and things we're going to be doing in the class. Uh, overall uh, uh, overall scheme of things and anything else that I need to mention about the class, I'll definitely definitely do that within these next. Uh, in this uh, uh, in this video, which uh, I calculate will probably come in at clock in about 10, 10, 10 to 11 minutes for the most part. That'll be about the average length of any video that I give to you during the course of these next eight weeks, somewhere in the range, in the average from uh, 8 to 10 minutes, maybe upwards of 12 minutes at, at the most. Okay, um, I've got my... Uh, uh, I've got my uh, MacBook here with me, with the, with the class already queued up. So as uh, so, I'll, I'll scroll things on on the class, and then and then talk a little bit more about that. Okay. Well, of course, the homepage and the syllabus you've already seen that, so no need for me to go over into, into a lot of detail about that. So let me quickly tell you a little bit, a little bit more about the assignments, and uh, I'm, I'm sorry, the learning modules. Let me quickly say what that's all about. The learning modules basically break up the class into eight parts, eight components, eight elements, and each module, if you, when, when you go into it. Uh, it tells you what the readings are, what the uh, what the documents are. So all the uh, PDF files, the uh, PowerPoint programs, and links to uh, films, those will be things that will be listed too in the learning module section. At the start of each module, have what's called a module overview, which basically is an essay telling you how to approach the readings, what you should be looking at at, at first. Um, some additional notes that, that I need to mention. So when we get a little closer to about the uh, fourth or fifth weeks, the readings will get a little bit more intense because I'm going to have a lot more PDF files, outlines, or what I have are U.S. lecture outlines, so it will be a lot, lot more uh, in, in, important. So when we get when we finish off with the Mesoamerica, because this week and into the next couple of weeks, we're focusing it on the Aztecs, on the Maya, the Toltecs, the Otihuacan, the Olmecs, so everybody from the uh, pre-classic through the uh, classic period. That's the focus of the first three weeks. But starting the when we start beating the Spaniards, we're going to get a little bit more of the Europeans and eventually the English and the United States. So those readings will be a little bit more intense. There'll be a lot more to them. So it's going to be important for you to look at the module overviews, the essays, 
to give you a sense of of the overall uh, connection between all the readings and uh, and the and the order you should be lo looking at when you when you approach them. Um, I don't want people to get confused, see, oh my god, where do I start? Professor Professor just gave us a whole bunch of stuff, but the overview essays tell you what you need to do, the best way to approach all of the all of the readings. So those are so those are key things about learning modules. And of course in this week's module, the focus is exclusively on the pre-classic period and we got the Omec PowerPoint program and also a film uh, from Michael Wood on the Mesopotamia. And um, as for films, I'm gonna quickly say a few things about that. There's gonna be a film every week, except for the last week of, of the last week of the session. We've got films about the U.S.-Mexico War. There's films about the Maya, about the Aztecs. There's a film about Andrew Jackson and a film about the uh, uh, the U.S. Um, uh, I'm sorry. There's there's a film about. Uh, <clears throat> I'm almost forgetting what, what we have here. What we have here with with with, uh, with, with the uh, with, with, with the film. Oh, film about the conquistadors, about about Cortes and Cabeza de, de Vaca. So uh, the links to those films are, of course, listed in the in the modules. Some of those films you get from YouTube. A couple of films uh, you'll get from the academic uh, video uh, web uh, web page, which is from the uh, Mesa uh, LRC, the the library. So there's a link there to uh, see a film from the from the LRC. Okay, let me quickly go ahead and, uh, and move on to the assignments. And in the assignments, you're going to have uh, five assignments all together during the course of the semester, five writing assignments. Um, the first two assignments are going to be due at the same date on September 20th. This is what's called the uh, Mission System SLO and the Columbus Assignment. Mission System SLO, SLO what that is, is... <clears throat> Um, I've got a primary document or a primary source which talks, which has some uh, descriptions about what's happening in the California mission system. There's a two, there's two drawings and there's two essays within the course, within the course of that. What these, what these are, these were things that were done at the time that the mission system was was was, was going on. That is, it's someone's interpretation of uh, how life was back in the missions at that time, or relatively close to that point in time. So, your job is to uh, look at those four uh, those those four items on the document sheet, the assignment sheet, and then give me your imp your impressions, your interpretations as to what's going on in all of that. Of course, I've gotten more details in terms of uh, it, what's what's listed in the assignment sheet, uh, but to give you a sense that is what your job is to try to do on the assignment is to you be the historian and you interpret what those four items are all about. They're the, 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 the two drawings and then the uh, documents, the one document by uh, by one of the priests, by one of the missionaries at the time, and, and also another one by a French visitor to uh, uh, to the mission uh, to the California missions at that at that period. Uh, the Columbus assignment is self-explanatory. You've got the Columbus book, remember, so make sure you get that. Besides, between the conquest and uh, ancient Mexico, and in the Columbus assignment, you just answer a series of questions. There's 14 questions altogether. Uh, your job is simply to answer uh, nine of those questions and turn that in into Blackboard itself. A couple of you asked about how to turn in the assignments. In the assignment section, all I have to do is uh, click the link that describes what the assignment is, whether it says Mission System SLO, Columbus Discussion Assignment. Click that black link, and it opens up a page in which you submit the assignment in, into, into there. Uh, if you need more, more information about that, just l let me know. But, uh, but again, all assignments you submit into Blackboard itself, into the assignment section, don't send me any uh, files through my email, or don't try to uh, uh, send them to me through, uh, through the campus e email. Everything you need to do to submit assignment is posted right there on Blackboard. And then there are final three assignments. These are more of, uh, I guess you could say, critical thinking in which uh in which uh you're in which you're you're to look at uh some some sources and then uh, Besides providing summaries, provide your commentaries or analysis on these. So we've got the ProQuest review assignment, which is a, a database from the LRC. You can access ProQuest from the Mesa Library, but also too from uh, from your home computer, from your work computer, uh, and, uh, any any else at the remote site. So no need to go to the Mesa Library to access ProQuest. You can do that right from home or from your office. The book review, uh, you have to get a book on your own pertaining to any of the topics within the scope of the class, whether it's about the Aztecs, the Maya, the Toltecs, or onto the Conquistadores, Cortes, Cabeza de Vaca, or the U.S.-Mexico War, any of those topics within that range, uh, let me know what you want to work on and get that into me by uh, um, by October 4th. And the last assignment is about the U.S.-Mexico War. It's from the PBS website about the uh, war, which PBS did about 15 years ago. So read some articles from the website. The description as to what you need to do, of course, is listed on the assignment sheet. And then turn that into me on October the 11th. Okay, that's it for the assignments. Let me quickly move on to uh, 
Um, uh, move on to the to the quizzes here. Uh, quizzes. There's going to be eight altogether. Uh, first quiz is going to be starting uh, early next week on on Tuesday. I'm not giving I'm not giving the quiz this week just yet because I want to make sure everyone is in the class, is settled in with the material, uh, got 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 the books and uh, um, and understands how the class functions. So next Tuesday, quiz one will will start. It'll cover the readings, the topics from uh, uh, what we're doing this week on the pre classic on uh, on the Mesopotamia film on the Olmecs. Uh, Platilco, Quiquilco, some of the, those sites, and then for quiz two, we're going to start our regular quiz schedule, schedule which is, which is on a uh, Friday to Monday uh, frame. So what that means is that anytime between Friday and mo- the following Monday night at midnight, eleven fifty nine p.m., turn in, uh, finish up the, the the quiz within that within the time frame. All quizzes will will end starting with quiz two on Mondays, except for the quiz that runs into Labor Day. Anytime there's a holiday that that cuts right in on a Monday. Uh, just assume that I'm going to push everything to the Tuesday for the due date. So I think it's going to be quiz three in which uh, uh, you'll have until Tuesday at midnight after Labor Day to finish the quiz, not the uh, not, not, not the Monday. And on the quizzes, of the eight quizzes, it's your best seven, which will count uh, toward your toward your, your final grade. The average of your best seven, which which will be the, the total count. Okay, uh, videos. Uh, again, you can get the videos through the learning module, so I don't need to really say too much more about that. Um, discussion forums. Um, you're going to. We're, I'm splitting up the class into three big groups. Each group is going to cover is going to cover one one of the discussion forums, except for uh, when we get into a week seven. Uh, this uh, group form seven groups one and two are going to work together. So I already set up the groups. Look in the discussion board to see wh- wh- where you're listed. Everything's by alphabetical order. So if your last name is say Alcala, uh, Anderson, uh, <clears throat> Bobadilla. You're in group one, or if your last name is likewise Yanez, uh, uh, Cepeda, uh, 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 anywhere toward the back end of the alphabet, then you're in group three. Everyone else falls in between. So look in the discussion board to see where you are listed in the in the groups, and then look in the forms themselves to see the specific directions you need to do for answering the questions uh, for the for the discussion group. So everybody stays within their, their group. So if you're in group one, you talk within group one uh, all. All session long, group two with with group two and group three with group group three. There's no intermingling of the groups uh, at, for this time, but I think for next school year, for spring of a uh, fourteen, I'll start doing intermingling of the groups. But for for this sub session for this semester, everybody stays within the group and answers the uh, discussion questions. Okay. Um, Calendar. I don't use calendar, so let's not worry too much about that. Announcements. I put post that almost on a regular uh, regular basis. So, uh, for sure, starting next week, about every other day, there's going to be an announcement. So just keep track of when those announcements are going to be listed. And I think the last thing I need to talk about is the is a chat section. I'm going to have an area in which uh, starting next Thursday, uh, I think it's going to be the 29th. We're going to have the first uh, chat session. This will be the uh, you might say the real time office hours uh, on on a remote basis because of course since I'm here in Riverside County. I can't be on campus on a regular basis, but you can chat with me in real time uh, through the chat through the chat section. So probably either 7 to 8 p.m. or 8 to 9 p.m., but for sure starting next Thursday, I'm going to have uh, these uh, face-to-face chat times. So any concerns or questions about anything, feel free to join in on uh, next next starting next Thursday and talk to me about any particular issue you might be having trouble with. Likewise, too, chat is helpful for those of you who are having trouble with how to deal with ProQuest. We can also uh, navigate ProQuest. Uh, in real time, uh, that is, I can give you uh, uh, sort of these uh, uh, ad-, ad hoc or these uh, uh, spur of the moment uh, uh, training sessions on how to navigate through ProQuest. So uh, we can we can definitely talk a little bit more about that as the uh, session progresses. Okay, and with that, I think it's going to cover it. Uh, I knew this was going to happen. We're running close to about 14 minutes, so let me stop it here because it's going to take off for the video to upload into YouTube, and then I've got to make videos for the uh, for my Grossmont class. So let me stop it here, everybody. I hope this introductory video helped out. If you have any concerns or questions about anything, feel free to contact me through my Grossmont email, or better yet, start using Messages for Professor in, in Blackboard or uh, use the... Uh, Use the the main form in the discussion board. You can use that for any questions you might have about the class. All right, so you guys have a great uh, have a great great Wednesday. I hope everything's going off the first day of classes, and uh, I'll most likely have another video for you next week. I'm not quite sure what I'll talk about, but I'll definitely have more videos for you as the uh, as the session progresses. So you guys take care. Have a great uh, uh, have a great uh, Wednesday, and I'll have more announcements for you for the rest of the week.